Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jerry. Michael. I'm from Richmond, actually. Richmond? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I used to live in West Kensington. Did yeah. you go? Yeah. No, I didn't go to that. I was at uh, Roosevelt for New Year's. You notice that you shaved your chest? What's up with that? Uh-huh. Is there something you've been doing for a long time? Escape. You do? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's good. Yeah, I'm Pisces, so I love the one. I'm a Pisces, too. Really? We're not supposed to get along with you. Guy names for, for girls <laughs> sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Have you met anybody you want to kiss? What are your initials? What's your name? You run. Do you do, like, marathons? I do. Then... Did you do the L.A. one? I've been to Mammoth, but I've been to a couple of closer places. Yeah, I've heard it's all pink. Yeah, I love it. So have you done this before, this speed dating thing? I have, I have, I have. And I wanted to be a professional friend, but <laughs> that basically becomes like an escort service. <laughs> I'm still unclear about who I'm going to be dating. If I expected one person, it might be Zoe. There was also Monet. She was very sweet and caring, so. Yeah. I was kind of nervous who I was going to get, so when I saw Monet, it was a much relief swept over me. Hey. Hi. How's it going? When I first saw him, I was very, very surprised. I was mainly surprised because I was just talking about how I didn't feel like I had enough time with the first guy, and lo and behold, that was who it was. <laughs> Tonight, uh, it's going to be about you guys. It's not going to be about the food. So the food will help you to have a good date. And of course, like we say in Italy, I hope that you guys get to know each other, because whenever you go out with somebody, you may risk to end up with a person forever. So you enjoy your dinner. We'll be right back with you. Thank you. Thank you. So were you excited when you got the call? Yes, I was. I was like, wow, really, me? And I tried to see if I could figure out who I was going to be on the date with, and no luck. We had a lot of conversation, and we kind of started, you know, on the soft side of trying to get to know a little bit more about each other, and then kind of popped a few more questions to see what she's looking for, see if I'm what she's looking for. Are you looking for long-term? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm not going to shy away from that if it comes around. Mm -hmm. My approach on a first date is definitely to find out as much about the girl as possible. You have to know the, what they're really looking for because if you're just kind of having laughs and not really getting to know the person, you might not know whether or not you want to go out on a second date. Definitely somebody that has some ambition is really a good trait and definitely somebody that likes to travel. Monet, when I met her previously, we only had a few moments together. But uh, although they were great and I could find out that she was a nice person, tonight was definitely where I could see her true colors. And I was very happy. Glad that, you know, it was you and not Julie or somebody else. <laughs> a little bit frightening. Yes. I'm rather relieved as well. I do find that we have a lot of common interests. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was going to say, what, we sh what should we do next time we go out? If we go out. Have you been to Griffith Park? I have. Um, I would definitely like to see him again, and it was nice that he was asking about where, you know, what possible places we could go for our second date. These bucket seats. Yeah, I wouldn't mind moving. A little ride on the way back, try to get a little more cozier and uh, kind of cuddle up as best as possible with the bucket seats in the back. But it would have been nice to, you know, grab her and pull her to one side and just be alone. I think we're here. Thank you. Yeah, I had a great time. I did too. Yeah, so we'll figure out the Griffith Park thing and get together. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. It's great to meet you. I go in for the kiss with Definitely. kind of a light touch. Stay warm. Yes. Right. Have a good week. Then I kind of just move a little closer and see if she responds. Okay. See ya. Good night. Have a good one. When we came up to my door and um, Peter gave me a kiss good night, that was really sweet. And it was a great way to end a nice night. I decided just to make a move. Was getting a little nervous, thinking I wasn't going to go. And yeah, she responded, which was nice. Didn't get a slap in the face. 